well, it's not 4th of July, but uh, we're going to pretend it's 4th of July. Uh, moving forward here, probably can watch some Sanford Sun later, catch some Sanford Sun. Um, cooking meatballs, meatball sub later. I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to do it. Uh, cooking video is coming up. I need to get a tripod. Uh, one of these days I'm going to do that. Here, not too bad. Got this today. It's a nice crossbow here. It's actually uh, paid 50 bucks for it. It uh, came with some arrows. Uh, co-worker. Um, it's called uh, the brand of its. Uh, um, It's a um, high five brand. Oh shit. Yeah, it's uh, I'm gonna try to figure out how I can adjust the power. It seems like it could. I wish it was a little more powerful. Even though. I haven't shot, I haven't put an arrow through it yet. But, uh. Ah, oh, shit. Basically, what I'm gonna do for my meatball sub, I'm gonna go ahead and. Got some marble shredder cheese, shredded cheese, in the fridge. Got some good sauce right here, real good sauce. Hunts is the best, if you ask me. You guys should take a pencil, write down my method. How to do a meatball sub. It's a quick way. Quick way. Get you a pan, firing pan. Throw you some oil, a little butter margarine in there cook spray whatever um take your frozen meatballs like the little cheap meatballs little miniature meatball um what I would do first off I'd take an onion right here got me a little small onion real nice onion right there chop the top, boom boom, slice the center, or you can, there's another way you can do this, either dig into it, take it, or you can chop a sliver, I like the quick way to take the skin off, boom, take your knife, oops, just rip it off, the peeling off, um, basically, I love onions, basically what I do at that point, uh, get your cutting board, slice in the middle, come across at an angle, boom, 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 um, or you can sliver here, 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 and then come down, 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 down that way, make you some slivers of onions, same thing on the other side of the onion, throw it in the pan, a little black pepper in there, uh, throw you the meatballs in there. Tip out your sauce in a little bowl. Microwave your sauce. Uh, this is how I do it. I'd microwave my sauce, have a little bit of uh, cayenne pepper in the sauce. Uh, uh, a little bit of garlic powder. Uh, or you could just put it in a separate saucepan while the onion and the meatballs cooking. And then what I do is 
torts on the meatball and onions done. Throw the cheese in the pan with the meatballs and the onion. Uh, um, or you can just uh, I just pour it in a pan with the meatballs and onions. Fuck it, the same way I make a Reuben. Um, just take a scoop, spoon, spoon out the onions and the meatballs and the cheese. Put it on your hot dog bun. Put the sauce on top. Uh, and then uh, I put a little hot pepper, sprinkle a little cheese on top of your meatball sauce. That's about it. Or you can toast your bun. That's about how I do it. Uh, pretty much a quick way. But uh, if you like green peppers, I like olives in my meatball sauce sometimes, or even green pepper. Fan. These things come in handy. Real good. Just basically pop the lid off. Metal thing off. 50 seconds. A minute. Boom, bam, done. Throw some cheese in there. A little uh, grated cheese and some hot pepper. There you go. Let's see. Or what you could do is instead of you could throw the sauce in the pan, the meatballs, uh, cook the meatballs, <coughs> onions, then throw <coughs> the sauce in there, slow cook it, and then throw your cheese at the end and let it melt in the sauce and just scoop it on your bun. guys um, go ahead and kill this I'm going to go ahead and finish this blue raspberry cherry citrus um, premium malt beverage with natural flavors certified colors out of Plainfield Illinois even though I like Indiana better I'm an Indiana Pennsylvania West Virginia Kentucky fan uh, Smirnoff ice red white and berry um, limited edition might even get four of these things these things are pretty good. Um, 4.5 ABV, uh, 1.8 1 fluid ounces, which equates to 22 equates to 22 ounces. Or let's make sure here. Yeah, doesn't say it on the back. All there is is a government warning, typical warning. Figured it's saying on the back of it, but oh well. I'll call my fans. I'm going to chug it.
for now.